shot will be uh, following. Uh, following you and have him in the foreground, you in the background, but so mostly it's your reaction. So you open the bag, look, there's nothing there, so you like, uh, go like this, looking for the potato chips, and you just, the last shot is you frowning like a, yeah. My biggest influence is Hellraiser. I saw the second movie first, and the second movie at the very beginning had this recap, a montage that was spectacular. So I had to see the uh, first movie to see all these monsters that running around, but it turns out the monsters were only in it for five minutes. So I decided I could do better than that, and I had that opened the door basically to my film career. Uh, modern Buddha and he's visited by this prophetic character, old man and um, basically this prophetic character tells him that he's going to be facing challenges and that he is in fact the modern Buddha of our times. Uh, yeah, well the thing is, even though I practice the Buddhist faith, I'm still technically a Catholic. I would like to officially convert to Buddhism. Uh, you want I, to then combine, the monk we're going to do the official uh, for you. Yeah. So we can rearrange something, monk, you want to convert to be Buddhism, and you have to go, I will explain to you. I will send some info for you so you can read. No, I have uh, Buddhist texts, a lot of them. Okay. So I basically memorize like a lot of stuff. Yeah. Except I'm still, from what I heard, there's a ceremony. For, yeah. So that might put it become the Buddhist. No. Okay. But you're welcome to come anytime. And on Sunday, every Sunday, you should have a service in here. This, believe it or not, is the first time I've actually prayed in a temple. How was this experience? Enlightening. I can't wait to do it again. I think he's a rapist. My mom was 15 when she had me. Therefore, she would have been 14 when she got pregnant, which means that my dad probably raped my mom. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you were adopted? Yeah. What age were you adopted? I was six months. My arm doesn't work right. When I was six months old, I got a fever, 104, I think. It should have killed me, but it didn't. Instead, it knocked out the entire left side of my body. 
So, as a result, I've got a very bad weak side. I walk with a limp, which, depending on uh, if I exercise or not, can be really detectable. And I've got almost no control over my left hand. I mean, I work out a lot to gain muscle mass, but when it comes to like picking up Cheerios, I can't even do that. I found out uh, about Buddhism three years ago. I've been practicing for three years, but yeah. I ended up getting excommunicated by the Catholic Church. <laughs> Because uh, according to one monk, you could be a uh, Buddhist and a Catholic at the same time. However, in Catholic, it's all or nothing. You're either a Catholic or you're not. No. The thing is, the Buddhist, uh, he said, I am a Buddha, you are the Buddha future. And no religion say that to me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the main thing for me. That's why I like it so much. Right. You know you do that thing. Yes. And you can fix that and no one else can fix for you until you want to fix that for yourself. You agree yeah. with me? You go that road, I will fail to the big hole that go to hell. And I go this road, it will help me to go to heaven until you definitely want to do it. Yeah. So that's a good thing. I understand. I always like the dark, uh, foreboding demon creature. I mean, the Undertaker's a loner. Uh, so am I. And the Undertaker also scares the hell out of everybody, and I, for reasons unknown, still do. He is, a, he is an interesting vision. It's interesting because whenever I see one of his scripts, it's always... It, He's always saying that it's always based on like a version of himself. And so he writes very much stuff that he relates to in a way. And so like even in some movies, he's literally told me to play him, <laughs> you know? And so he's literally told me to play himself. Even though I've had a good life, I find it mostly boring. Why? So films are an escape for me. So he writes stories about these loner, not loner in like a like a, oh, like Clint Eastwood type loner. It's like a loner who is a loner not because he's badass or because he's cool. He's a loner because uh, people think he's scary or like a freak. When I want to get creative, I go into a trance and I just stare. I just try to make sure I stare at enamored objects, even though my eyes like to watch stare at people. In terms of if you ever talk to Corey, he always talks about himself as a, that people think he's like a stalker or that he's, that he's somehow very creepy. And so his movies very much have the similar themes with, you know, what people tell him. I mean, literally in a movie, he told me to play him as himself and I was stalking a girl. But it turns out in this movie that the stalker was the good guy and the good looking man who was like helping her was the villain. Why do, you, why do you want to be Buddhism? I got excommunicated from the Catholic Church for right. questioning... Uh, About... They declared that anybody who isn't Christian goes to hell. And I oh, had asked... Right. I had asked them, well, what if a person who did good deeds all of his life that just happens to be Jewish, uh, right. would he go to hell? They said, yeah, he would. Well, eventually all signs point to the monastery. But I want to do something with my life first. I want to edit. I'm good at it, and editing is the only thing in the whole movie business where time seems to have no meaning for me. I can go on for days without any food or sleep. Just editing. If you want to be literal, there have been vampires, people that actually drink blood for a living. In every part of the world, there is like a vampire thing. Okay, sometimes they 
it sucked the souls out of people instead of drinking blood. Sometimes they suck just life force out of people, but there is something that drains people of themselves. Uh, that one uh, countess lady, I forgot her name, but she would uh, bathe in the blood of young virgins. I think virginity should be kept all times. I am determined to be the first 100-year-old virgin. Well, even though I really don't want to, I believe that my ultimate destiny is the Buddhist monastery. I mean, I can't get a girl for shit, so... I mean, even the most desperate girl has once told me that she may be desperate for a boyfriend, but she's not that desperate. So that pretty much killed any self-esteem that I had. So... And I'm not gay. So... I guess that means that ultimately there's nobody for me. And... All roads in my life point to that monastery on top of the mountain. With a goat as my best friend. I mean, most of the time I just curl up uh, in bed, watch TV until the sun goes down. Late into the night. I've seen like every Law and Order episode ever made. Yeah, I'm a big Sailor Moon fan. Ronin Warriors. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Well, who isn't a Dragon Ball Z fan? Like Considering action. that uh, this dates back from Power Rangers, uh, the Japanese have sort of a dance style to their fighting. I remember getting into 187 fights between uh, kindergarten and eighth grade. And why did I get in so many fights? Because it was fun. There was nothing more invigorating than beating the crap out of someone. And I actually fought guys that were bigger and stronger than I was. A lot. Uh, a few... About two years ago, my roommate had rearranged all my stuff without my permission. So I got in a shouting match with him. Uh, I was about to punch him when... I have a Buddhist... Uh, I have a Buddha statue uh, lying on my... Uh, Desk. I just glanced at it, just glanced, and all of a sudden, just looking at it, my anger subsided, and I, calm yeah, down. Okay, I was able to That's calm down instantly so, just yeah. by looking at this stuff. So. I uh, use more Taekwondo moves on my opponents, specifically my rival, H. La Barbara. We don't believe in you know, our you know, physical fight. Yeah. War, something like that. The only way they have some way to resolve, to to live in good harmony on the world. You know how yeah. many, you know how many, um, how many people in the world? About fifty or something like that. And we have grown a friendship that is, um, it's unlike any friendship I've ever had before. It's one that I definitely won't forget. His ideas are just interesting because it's like you see parts of him in, or parts of what other people see in him come onto the screen, you know? Because, I mean, Corey, deep down, is a good guy, you know? He's not deep down, but Corey's a good guy. And he's got a, you know, a deep... But he's, he's also... He's also very much in tune and very much, almost, I think, uh, cares very much about what people think of him. Your daughter got in her mind somehow that your fiance killed the family she worked for. Look at this. Well, I'm like, I wonder if you were ready to be a part of this family. Never had that. Honestly, I don't know if I'm really crazy or not. Looney crazy? No. No, definitely not. However... Sometimes I just wonder about myself and whether I'm really right in the head. But that's what makes me interesting. Hollywood ran out of ideas years ago. Everything now is just sequels, remakes, comic book movies, or very crappy Iraq war movies. Crap. Corey, how are you?
how are you feeling about today? I'm excited. excited. I've been waiting for years for this. Just so that I can tell my parents that I am now an official Buddhist. Instead of a Catholic who practices Buddhist. Thing. I've learned peace from the Buddha. I've learned calm, understanding, kindness. Kindness to all animals. Even flies. My arch nemesis. Nemesis. Whatever. <laughs> is that in a person's life he's given a bunch of choices uh, and if he makes all the correct choices he ends up going to heaven but if he makes all the wrong choices he ends up uh, dying and then getting reincarnated uh, so he has to do the whole damn thing over again <laughs> đầy đủ duyên lành và sự phá tâm của Phật tử thì Paradise to me is being in the arms of someone that truly loves you for you that isn't your mother or father <laughs> Feel peaceful. First time in a long time. Good for you. Yeah. Do you want to stay for lunch?